everybody, it's Mary Jo with chatandchalk.com here to bring you another fun live for the day. I am gonna be making something really cute today. This is something I found a long time ago. It's just a surface that I discovered. Um, so I have, what happened was that it was in the closet and I said, what am I gonna do with this? And I pulled it out and it was a little weird looking on a couple of the sides. So I went ahead and I sanded it down and made it look like real vintagey. And I'm loving the way it looks. So today I'm gonna add a little home decor on it. I've got all my stuff here ready to go. And um, I'm gonna add some flowers for the spring. The word family, um, maybe the word home, or I actually might just put keep life simple and um, make it work that way. Just never know with me. I just, I'm doing all this fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get this globe going. Um, I'm going to be using today, oh, it's kind of weird looking at it that way. Let's look at it. I don't know. I guess this is the only way we can look at it. But I have to, you see it's a globe. Um, I guess I could leave, leave it like that so I can chalk on it. But I am going to go ahead and use this uh, Keep Life Simple. I love the little um, designs here, the um, garland on the bottom. And I'm using R. Um, transfer shears again um, you guys hear me say again and again I love the fact that they are Teflon coated and they're sharp and like they just go right through and don't get gunky so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this apart real fast here we have it keep life and then we have our um, garland here that I'm loving I'll put these back. And then I have family from the house and you know, the family can go up the side of the house or whatever with the heart. I love the way this is, but we might just do family by itself. And then I also have welcome because I thought this would look really cute as like on your little welcome table in your foyer or wherever you wanna place it, maybe on your porch on a little table and it just says welcome on it to welcome people into your home. So I have that too. So I'm trying to decide, I think I'll start with the welcome because I really do like the welcome. I think that that's nice and then we'll go from there. And this is kind of a haphazard little project today because when you're dealing with a globe, you can't always, you know, have it totally planned because it might not look right. Now, when you're doing round things, you have to go slowly to get that um, transfer down, and you might only be able to do part of it according to how long, you know, your transfer is, because you're going to have little bubbles, not really bubbles, but bumps, because it is round. So what I'm doing is I'm just staying right where the transfer is, and kind of rubbing it down to make sure I don't have any little um, wrinkles in my transfer as I go, right where the words are. Not so much on the other part, because see, I got little wrinkles there, but I don't have them where the words are, and that's what I wanna make sure I don't have. Now it is going over a seam on my um, globe because my globe is actually this is the weirdest globe the globe I have downstairs is really cool because it's like really hard this one is hollow which um, I was surprised when I pulled it out of the closet you know I'm going through my house I don't know if y'all are doing this but I'm going through my house and I'm um, cleaning out things and getting things ready to like I take and I do um, some crafts that I've had in my closet for a year and have not gotten to it, right? We all have that, I'm pretty sure. So I am going through and getting those done so that I can um, either sell them at a craft show, give them away to a friend. I just um, trying to weed things out a little. Now, when you're doing these round things, you kind of have to be a little 
it's a little trickier because you're not, you know, you can't do a really long swoop, right? Because when if you do that, then it's gonna make a hot mess. Um, so you might have to do little sections. And I'm using our multi-tool here. I love the multi-tool. Multi-tool's my friend. Helps me not um, get all nasty and messy and all that. Okay, so let me just get the rest of this done. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it and we're gonna see what we got going on here. And like I said, this is um, a different sort of chalking on a different surface. It's not flat. See how my ball came apart? But right here at the seam, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a little bit of repair work. If you're here, make sure you say, hey, um, I'm not seeing anybody. There's somebody. Hey, Naomi. Um, but, um, I have to do a little bit of repair work right there on that one seam at the L, but that's okay. That'll be a Q-tip later. So with this, so I've got the welcome there, and I'm going to go ahead and start using some of our fun new products. This is our new Citrus Splash, and I just got this in the mail today from Chalk Couture because they love me, and they sent me a present, and I thought that was really nice. Now... You see, I just opened this and it looks like it's really hard, but it's not, okay? If it looks that way, that's okay. You just need to stir it up. So make sure you stir your chalk paste. This one's a little fluffy because it's a green, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water in there with it, okay? And stir it in, get it nice and smooth like that sour cream consistency. That's our goal, is sour cream consistency. What am I making tonight for dinner? There was something I was gonna make. Oh, I made um, sushi rice today. I love sushi rice, you guys. And I made a um, poke bowl with shrimp and greens. I wanna figure out how to make seafood salad. I know, it sounds a little gross, but it, it's so yummy when I get it. Actually, what I might do is I might just go to Simply Boba and or the Boba Tea Place, Quickly Snow is what it's called, and just ask them if I can buy a container of seaweed salad because I don't know where else to go. Maybe the um, Asian market would have it. I could go see. But I know what the one at Simply Snow tastes like, Quickly Snow. Okay, so I got that. Oops, I got a big blob there. Got that done. And I'm gonna, let me just wipe this off here, just because. So I'm going to take this, and since our transfers are new, I got my fuzzing cloth here. Trying to keep it all in the camera today. It's kind of hard, hard day. Fuzzing cloth, my Band-Aid roll, get that down on there, and just fuzz this up a couple times. And especially since this is a really smooth, smooth surface, like glass or anything, you wanna fuzz it a couple times to make sure. Um, how's this one go? This one could go like that, and this one could go like this. Yeah. And I'm gonna just kind of bring that off to the side a little. And again, I'm just rubbing where my transfer is, not the outside of the transfer, just where the screen is, because that's the only place I really um, want to chalk, right? And I'm gonna use this pretty citrus. Oh my goodness, I love this color. This would be so pretty with my special blue that I made. Ah, it's gonna be hard, you guys, not to use my special blue all the time. The one I made, you know, with sage and the tide. I love that color. Okay, Citrus Splash is what this one's called. Um, it's kind of a greeny yellow and there's even a hint of orange in it. It's kind of interesting, but I do love it. I love this color. So let me take that off. Oh, and I love the way it looks all chalky. 
And I'm gonna um, use this pattern all around it. Let me, um, where'd my, here's my heat gun. Let me go ahead and heat this up a bit, dry it off. It's not really heating, it's just drying. I wanna dry it so that I can turn it and not ruin it. Okay. And then I'm gonna go to this side of welcome. Oh, this is funny, I got white chalk there. From my little fingers, got it. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. And I'm thinking I might um, just add some of these later once I put my flowers on. So I'm gonna make flowers on here. A lot of people don't like the flowers. I personally love the flowers. And I'm gonna put this right, kinda coming this way. And we can do this in different colors, however we want it, because it's our creation, right? You don't have to follow a pattern with Chalk Couture. You can do what you like. You can paint if you want to. Yeah. So just do your colors the way you like, whatever fits your house. The beauty of Chalk Couture and home decor is that it's yours, right? You get to figure out what you want in your house. It can be one of its, and that's what I like my customers to understand that, you know, what you create is a one of a kind. It's not, you know, you make something for your friend as a nice gift. It's a one, in a, one of a kind gift. Why wouldn't they love that? Because, you know, come on, it's one of a kind. Nobody else is gonna have one made with the love and the care and the tools that you had to give to them, right? And then this, actually, I might even add a few, a few more right here. I think I will. I'm just gonna add some more of this color. I love this color. I'm just gonna add some more of these leaves around. And if they don't all come out, that's okay because I can just wash off the part that isn't working for me and then add something else there. So that'll work too. And then I have some other smaller ones that I'm going to add in here with a different color. Ah. I just love this. And then, let's see. Maybe one going up. Because I'm going to be adding some flowers right here. And you notice that I didn't really push it all the way down. I'm just using my squeegee. Since it's round, I can do that and just pick it up and use it on the next one. But I just am going from the center of the pattern out to the leaves, okay? Because that way I'm pushing my transfer down at the center and bringing it out. Yes, I like that. And since this is gonna be the front, the back doesn't really need to have a whole bunch there. But since it's a globe, we don't wanna just leave it hanging. So I'll just, I'll add one here. And then we're gonna add some pretty purple flowers, pink flowers, yellows. Some, I'm, I'm into bright colors. If you're not, you can, um, you know, add some grays and some browns, whatever works for your decor, again. It's all about personalization and what's your story, right? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. That's the most that I'm gonna do there with that green. I've got enough of that green going on, don't I? I love it. I can't deny that I love it. Okay, so, so far we have our welcome here. You see? And I'll show you when we're done. And I'm gonna add some flowers. I'm gonna use, let me dry some of this. I'm gonna use um, from our Watts of Love set, Plant Seeds of Love. I love that set because it has so many smaller elements that you can add and make more um, personal, you know? You can just get real creative with those. So, 
I really love those, um, the different elements of this, this set. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let's see what do I wanna put there. I, I have a couple roses here that I think I'm gonna put here. I like that. And this is our wisteria. And I'm gonna do the purples and the pinks, real springy looking. You know, the um, groundhog said, it's coming guys, it's coming. You gotta believe the groundhog, right? Just saying, because we can't believe nothing else. And again, this is a new one that um, Chalk Central just sent me. I've, I'm really appreciating that. And since I've been using my plant seeds of love transfer, I don't have to fuzz it. Okay, so that's why I just stuck it down there. It's already been fuzzed. It's well loved. So it shouldn't stick. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at this pretty purple wisteria. Love it. Gorgeous. Yes, do you see that? Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. So because I'm like this, I'm going to add a few of these around. I'm going to add that one at the bottom. I'll turn the um, transfer. And when you're adding your things to your, um, like since I'm doing florals, right? When you add your things, you put the biggest piece down and then you put the next size smaller and then the next size. And then those little tiny pieces you can layer on top and fill in right so that way you're filling in your spaces but you're getting your big things in there first <clears throat> let me turn this one to here and do this one so you can see i'm loving this wisteria this is a gorgeous color for easter Loving it. Love, love, loving it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do with that, Rose. I am going to add some more greenery, and I might make some things brown. This wisteria is really pretty. It's almost like a bluish purple. You guys see the color? Where are you? You're over here. See that color? It's like a bluish purple. It's not a lot of blue, but it's more purple. It's a really pretty color. Okay, so now I wanna take and go down a size with my different sizes of, of um, flowers. So I've got two different kinds, three different kinds here. Let me just dry this real quick. Three different kinds that I'm gonna add. And to kind of just bunch them around here, around this, um, Welcome is what I want to do. I want that to be the front of my uh, design, right? So I have a couple little buds. So I have this one. Oops, where are you? There you are. I'm going to put that one in. And maybe just place it right along here. And I could do the stem one color. Add those little dots. Let me see what color I want to do these. I could do, got the purple and the green. I don't want to do teal. That would be a little bit too much. Um, I am going to use the sage to go with that. I think maybe cherry blossom would be a pretty light pink. Should go with that. Or even... Um, a light, light blue. I don't have a light, light blue open. That's my problem. I have my blue that I love that I created. Where'd my cherry blossom go? Oh, and I have this marvelous. Marvelous will go beautiful with that. And then I want to do these in a shimmer. Like a silver shimmer. I just have to find... My shimmers here, or even, oh, a copper would even be better. Um, a copper shimmer. That would be so pretty. We'll see which one I find first. I found the copper first. I think the copper will look pretty there with that green. 
So let me do the marvelous here and then a little bit of brown. Um, the almond or the bark. It looks like it's gonna be bark. So bark and a little bit of um, marvelous. Let me wash off my multi-tool here. So I'm gonna do the bark on the bottom right here just as the stem the marvelous for the flower and that way i can just add a little bit of copper um, highlights throughout the whole globe just little dots right there we go and then the copper. I like this copper. It has that little orange and just add a little flare. A little bit of fun. And this one's actually right there on that seam. Let's see. Look, you ready? Isn't that cute? We're going to add some more leaves there. <clears throat> And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I already had the copper on, so I'm just gonna do the copper right here. Hope you guys can see. It's kind of weird being round. And the mauve. Right there. And add that brown. The brown actually will tone down those really bright colors. Just that little bit, actually. It's, it's kind of weird how that works. Bring that. I'll leave that. And then my next one that I have is this bubbly one. And I'm going to bring him. You can probably see the top a little more. Bring him more like right there. And again, I'm going to use that copper for those little um, pollens coming out. And then i got to figure out a color. I don't want that same mauve. Let's do this pretty yellow. And I'll do the brown stem again. This yellow is called daffodil, which is a really nice yellow for spring again. Because it's not that bright summer yellow, it's, you know, it's daffodil yellow. It's a good yellow for spring. And so I'll just put that there. Bring all my colors in. I love adding different colors. And pull that. I'll have to clean up right there. I smeared him. Let me wash that. So if that ever happens to you, that just means that you smeared the back. So you just have to wash that, transfer, and get ready to start again with it. Make sure you wipe it on the front and the back on that when that happens. Because it will happen. I'm not going to lie to you and say everything's perfect. You know, life happens, guys. you got to fix your mistakes. Clean it up. And lucky for us, it's just with water. So then I'm going to add... I might add the other one right here. Well, oh, he's got to dry. Dry up, little one. So he sticks. Where's that? There it is. There we go. I'll do my flower again. Just like that. And then I'll go back and put in my brown and my copper copper here, brown there, and lift that. There we go. So you guys can see that, you know, this can take a little time to keep working on it. I'm going to keep working on this guy because I really am loving the way it's looking. I'm going to add a few more. Look here. Where are you? There you are. I'm gonna add a few more um, 
of these vines going around. And then this would sit really nice at a welcome table. Let me take this down so that you guys can see it. While I turn it around, let me turn around. There we go. It's kind of backwards for you, I think. So, but that's okay because I turned the camera around. Let me see. I think I can fix it real easy. Ah, there, yay. So, isn't that pretty? And once I get all the rest of the greenery on it, it's gonna go all the way around and it'd be a nice little thing to sit on your welcome center for the spring. What do you think? What, what? How much fun is that? Okay, well that's your live for today and I hope you got a little bit of inspiration for your crafting. And um, don't forget to visit me at www.chatandchalk, C-H-A-T-A-N-D-C-H-A-L-K, Dot com and remember that if you're not part of Club Couture, which is the best deal on the planet, $19 a month, you get a transfer and three chalk paste. Um, you need to contact me and let me know because it is awesome. And the um, design I will be doing tomorrow for you guys, and it's so beautiful. It's simple and beautiful this month. It's um, welcome home. So it's a good thing. So give me um, a message if you need any questions answered. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow here on this channel. Same bat channel, same, well, probably not same bat chat time. I never know when I'm going to come here. But it's always fun. Okay, guys, you have a great day. Aloha.